I worship you in the spirit. I worship you in the truth. Your love for me is genuine and pure. Your majesty is amazing. <clears throat> and that's what you are to me and in your presence is where I want to be I worship you in the spirit I worship you in the truth your love for me is genuine and pure how many of you know the lord's love is genuine and pure your majesty is amazing and that's what you are to me and in your presence it's where i want to be i know the song says my love for you is genuine and pure but his love for us is truly genuine and pure i'm gonna keep on singing i worship you in the spirit i worship you in the truth my love for you is genuine and pure your majesty is amazing <clears throat> and that's what you are to me and in your presence it's where i want to be i worship you in the spirit i worship you in the spirit <clears throat> I worship you in the spirit. I worship you in the spirit. Hallelujah, bless your name. Hallelujah, praise your name. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. you in the spirit I worship him worship him in the truth cause your love for me is genuine and pure your majesty is amazing and that's what you are to me and in your presence it's where I want to be
Mm. Lord, we worship you and we bless you, Lord. And I just pray over this video. I thank you, Father in heaven. I thank you, Father higher. I thank you, Most High God, my creator, my father, the one who, oh God, thank you, Lord, for taking me into the secret place. Thank you for bringing me out of that dark place that I was in. I didn't even know I was in a dark place, but I thank you, Father. I'm talking to the one and only true and living God who sees everything. There's no surprises. There's nothing that has surpassed his understanding. There is nothing that has gone before. There is no one that has gone before him. There is, there is nothing that has gone before him. There is nothing that has gone into time to tell him what would be. He is the author of time. He is the author and finisher of our faith. And he operates outside of time. I'm talking about the one and only true and living God of higher. I'm talking about the father of Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord, our Savior, our King, the bridegroom. The one which was and is and is to come. I'm talking to my Savior. I thank you, my King. I thank you, my my, my vine I am a branch of your vine and I thank you for coming this day to give words in my belly I speak the anointing of the Holy Spirit of this video and as you use me thank you Holy Spirit for your presence already thank you Holy Spirit for giving me wisdom knowledge and understanding to speak the heart of the Father today thank you Holy Spirit for giving me what thus saith the Lord on this day. Thank you, Father, for opening up your heart to me. And I thank you for the privilege, the honor, and the blessing. I don't take it for granted. And I don't say it with pride. I don't do this with pride because it is a blessing and an honor and a gift to be used by the Most High Father. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, for choosing me this day. Heavenly Father, thank you for coming to me and telling me to open my mouth today to let you use me as a vessel to speak what is on your heart. And I thank you, Lord, for the hedge protection with the key of David and by the sound of my voice I stand in full jurisdiction dominion and authority that Christ has given me to speak on his behalf to be a mouthpiece to be an oracle to be a servant of the most high Yah. I stand in my chosen position I stand I sit in my seat at the father's table and I take on the essence of the father I speak that with great boldness and it is a parable but it, it is also a manifestation of his glory what I'm speaking of because father has said this that he is endowing his essence in my life and I speak that with great faith and I thank you father and as I pull over to this place I ask that you continue to I ask that you just continue to minister to me because this is what you called me to do on this day I don't know how many videos I'm gonna be making today y'all but I'm just telling you I'm just coming with the word of the Lord and I'm gonna speak from his heart I don't have a script I don't have pictures. I don't have images. I'm not doing that today. What I'm doing is what the Lord has told me to do. He told me to open my mouth and speak. So I'm going to let the Lord minister unto me so that he can minister unto you. And may it be of the glory of the Lord. May this word reach who it needs to reach. And I'm going to just allow him to do what he does because he is worthy like that. I don't put him in a box. I don't put him in a glass ceiling. No, I don't. I let the Lord do what he wants to do. And I speak when he tells me to speak. I stand up and I do what he asked me to do, no matter how crazy it looks to other people. See the father, thank you, Lord, for giving me it already. Mm. Father says, hallelujah and i give you all the glory father says i am placing my chosen ones i'm placing my chosen ones in peculiar places and i'm placing them in places that don't look christian i'm putting my people i have put them strategically like pieces on a chessboard i have placed them in places for my glory he says my people don't look like what the world wants them to look like my people don't fit the bill for the facade and the image that man is looking for. He says, but I have taken them. I have taken them under my wing. I have made them what they are becoming. I have changed them and transformed them into the vessels that I need them to be for my glory. I have put my boldness in them. I am calling every Esther. I am calling every Joseph. And see, some of you don't understand that you are more than one person out of his word. See, Father uses his word to show us 
what our destiny, what our purpose is, to map out what our ministries will look like. It's called an archetype. See what he does. He gives us our story. Okay. He gives us our story in his word. And when you read his word, when you go in the secret place, when you spend time with him, when you allow him to strip you of who you think you are and you allow him to put on you the garments of his righteousness, seek ye first the kingdom. Some of you don't understand what the kingdom is. And father's having me break that down for you. Holy Spirit, fill my mouth with his words only, not mine. But I hear the Lord telling me to tell you all what his kingdom is about. You don't understand it. You hear his word. You read it, but you don't understand it. And he says, with all thy getting, he says, get wisdom, get understanding. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So we can't fully understand how to operate in the kingdom if we don't know what the kingdom is. Father has had me on these podiums speaking and shouting from the rooftop as he's giving me right now. One <laughs> crying. A voice crying in the wilderness because many of his people don't know what his kingdom is. We talk like we do. Father says, I'm thank you, Lord, because he gave me this yesterday. I understand why he was giving it to me. He said he has put people in positions, in seats. And he has called them to be raised up in this hour. And what they're doing is not going to look traditional. So if you're looking for something traditional, if you're looking for somebody to come with the same old, same old, he said, I'm not doing it that way. I need somebody to catch that in the spirit, because whatever you're looking for, if you're trying to familiarize and compare somebody to what you think the glory of God is, he says, I need you to stop. And I need you to counsel with me. He says, because I'm raising up ones that are not afraid. I'm raising up ones that are not going to shy back. They're not going to scale back. They're not going to sit down because others don't like what they're saying. They're not going to stand still because others don't want them to run when he says run. Or they don't want you to get up off your bed and walk People want to see you paralyzed, but the father says no more. This is the era. He said, this is the era. Thank you, Father. He gave me this yesterday, too. He bringing it out to my remembrance. I could I try to for the life of me. Remember this before I came on. He wouldn't let me remember because he is a now God. And what I'm saying is a now word. And if you catch it in the spirit, you can receive your now miracle, your now confirmation, because that's what he's doing. This is the era where you're going to see uncommon things, okay? Because what people are witnessing right now is the glory of God rising up in family members that they did not think would be anything. Hallelujah. It's rising up in people who family members have shunned. I'm telling you what the heart of the Lord says. This is not me. This is his glory. This is him speaking. I remove myself, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach. Every word that I speak, Lord, may you confirm that word through your Holy Spirit. May you send it to him in a dream or a vision, Lord. Every naysayer that comes to this video, every person that comes to look just so they can speculate. Thank you, Father. Another word, hallelujah, that he gave me yesterday. Father said, those of you who have been, who have been watching in skepticism, being cynical about my chosen ones. He says, y'all better hear me by the spirit. Father says in this era, not in this season, this is a whole new era. He says it's wise to counsel with him about those who come in my name. Just because what they're speaking is not what you have understood. Just because what they're teaching is not what you have been given revelation knowledge of. He said, because the heart posture, the heart posture is not aligned with mine. A lot of his people who love him, 
or say they love him. Some people do love him and some people say they love him, but their actions do not show his love because your heart is not aligned with his. He says, I am yoking my people to my heart and I am yoking my people to my words. And he says, love comes in many forms. He says, some people are not, their heart is not right. So they cannot receive my glory because they're not seeking me. If you search for me and seek me with all your heart, you will find me. He says, you cannot let your own understanding rule what you see in the spirit. I'm going to let that marinate. You cannot let your own understanding rule what you see in the spirit. The father says, and I thank you, Lord. I thank you. He said, many, many of my chosen ones. Okay, I'm going to have to give me just a second. I got to put, I got to put my uh, charger on because I'm not going to stop this word. If this phone fall off this here dashboard, I'm going to keep on going because I'm going to get this word out. The father says, many people have called my servants crazy. They have questioned their mental state of being in the name of Jesus. Woo. He says it is wise to counsel with me. I hope y'all are hearing what he's saying because he didn't say this twice. It is wise to counsel with me about those who come in my name. It is wise to counsel with me about those who speak my gospel. The gospel of the kingdom. My word says that the kingdom is within. If my kingdom is within, you need to look inside of you. Because when you look inside of you, you will know yourself. My kingdom is within. It is written in my word says the Lord when I created hallelujah when I created you before you were knit in your mother's womb I called it good hallelujah he said I called it good 